Hello, internet friendos. It's been a while. A lot's happened. It's 2024. Who would have thought that? Not me. Time construct. Cannot understand. I had every intention to be doing videos a lot more than what I ended up actually doing. This is mostly just to get back into the swing of things after not doing it for a, a while. A while. So yeah, going to talk about upcoming projects this year, old projects, stuff I've wanted to work on. I, I really just want to get back into the swing of things, so that's what we're going to do today. Starting with the eyesore that is behind my shoulder right now that has been driving me crazy for a little over a year. Note the first. This box has been driving me nuts. Seriously, which is kind of ridiculous because I could have dealt with it a lot earlier than now, but eh, now's the time. Basically full of a whole bunch of various fandom things from many years of being a nerd, and uh, they all kind of just collect and they ended up in a Pampers box. I want to get rid of it because it's driving me nuts. I finally found a cool way to do that. We're going to take this box and everything in it, and we are going to build a very cool pirate style treasure chest. I've been wanting to do this for forever. It's such a small project, I don't even know why I'm doing a whole video on it, but I figure probably an easy way to get back into the swing of things, low-key project that is not going to take me months to do. I have a lot of clutter here, and uh, it's nice to clean it up sometimes, so that's what we're doing today, cleaning up clutter. So let's get into the actual project because I think it's gonna be a fun one, so let's do it. All right. Ooh. Oh, come on now. Give me the box it has all my crud in it. The problem. It is literally a box full of nerd stuff and like a couple candles. Anyway, plan is to take this box and turn it into a fancy ass treasure chest. So the plan is kind of is to take all the stuff in here and build a box that will fit everything that I can put in place of this situation. Let's go get the solution. I present the solution. This box is something that I found at the clearance section of Michael's. Literally the perfect shape and size for a treasure chest. Basically what I'm gonna do, the original plan for this whole situation was to build a box out of something. I was planning on either making it out of those little crates and stuff. I thought Michaels used to have like wooden treasure chests that were about this size. I feel like they did, but I don't think they do anymore because I went there and there was literally nothing. So this is what we're gonna use. I know it's not perfect example because it is literally a perfect shape, but if you wanna do something similar, I would probably recommend building it out of some type of cardstock material material, um, because that's what I'm pretty sure this one is built out of. It's not very strong. Luckily, we don't have to go that far because this one is literally perfect. So now plan is to cover this in foam. We have to get rid of all of the flowers on the side and on the top. And then I'm going to take some foam pieces to do all the detailing. So they usually have like those strips of metal on the side, planks out of like some thin foam, change out the cords or at least paint over them, puffy paint or hot glue or something. And just using that to kind of make embellishments. Yeah. Fair simple project but I think it's gonna be pretty fun it's always nice to start with something small instead of something crazy that's that's pretty much the gist of it let's go let's get some materials so first I took a look into my material stash and pretty much grabbed everything I thought I might be able to use for this project so leftover foam warbler pieces I had some strings stickers I grabbed it all out to see if I could use any of it for this project then I began measuring the box and all the angles before cutting out some pieces of thin foam to make the wood slats It's later. We got a decent amount done in the first half of today. The box right here, still in its pink glory, but we have all of the pieces for the boards and they're basically going to, can you even see what I'm doing here? Zoom out, Autobots, move out, roll out. It's roll out, but whatever. Haha, -ha, better. These pieces of foam are basically gonna go the entire outside and I'm just gonna kind of stick them on the base to make them look like wood slats. Kind of like that. Kind of like just wood slats. And then I want to do wood detailing with either pens or whatever 
works well to kind of imprint that design into the foam. They're all gonna get sealed with Mod Podge. Stick on here. And then I'm gonna save painting for last so that I can paint the entire thing one solid color and then put details in afterwards. But uh, that comes later. I should be sleeping, but who's to say what is and isn't bad habits, it's fine. So it was at this point that I completely forgot to heat treat the foam to give it the smooth texture. So this is just me rapid fire heat treating everything at stupid o'clock at night so that I can get the details in time to glue everything together in the morning. I took out the cords in preparation to glue the slats to the side of the box before attaching the final wood pieces and preparing to cut the metal edges. These are also made of foam, but this time I used some thicker pieces from a scrap roll that I bought at Michael's. Once everything was glued together, I added small rivets to the metal pieces using some half pearls from the scrapbooking section of the dollar store, as well as some larger rivets that I made by covering small gems with foam. Good morning. It's morning. I'm tired. It's been all, well not all but a decent chunk of last night finishing the box let me go grab because it is looking pretty cool here is the box as you can tell it looks oh so much better than its pink flowery counterpart it's a big boy it's kind of hard to film this thing because it's huge i got all the foam pieces on it turned out really cool i basically just contact cemented all of the foam pieces together i used a little bit of modeling foam to fill in all the gaps. It looks okay. I'm hoping that it looks a little bit better when I start painting everything. But that's what we're doing today, is painting this bad boy. I'm gonna start off with a primer of black paint and Mod Podge. Probably do that a couple of times and then go in with brown paint for the wood slats and then finally all of the gold on top. Bunch of painting. Yeah, that's pretty much today. Yeah, let's get the paints out and get started on this thing. where I learned the Mod Podge and water trick from, but it's the oldest one that I have in my book. This is the Nightingale armor. If you want to see those pictures, they're on my Instagram. They are old. <laughs> you don't really need to go see those. That was what I used in that project, the first armor project that I ever did to coat the foam to make it look like leather. Mod Podge and water has worked pretty well for me over my last more recent projects, especially for props. But hey, if anyone's got any better ideas, let me know, because I'm always down for trying something new. I figured I'd use this time to talk about, you know, some of the stuff I've been up to, because it has been busy, let me tell you. 2023 was a whole freaking time. A lot of stuff happening, some good, some not so good. A lot of crazy stuff. I went on a trip. Uh, I spent a bit of time out at West for school and uh, going to school for costume design actually. So that was also really fun. I mean, like I did school, but I also did a whole bunch of the sightseeing stuff. I did whale watching for a bit. Went and visited some of the more like touristy attractions. So many freaking pictures, I swear. I took like 3,000 pictures while I was gone. Saw some of the oldest trees that I've ever, ever seen. They were huge. They were like 300 feet tall. The west coast of Canada, if you don't know, is a temperate rainforest. So everything there, because it's so close to the water and it gets so much rain, it gets just massive. Mushrooms, 
everywhere. It was so cool. Some that I'd never seen before that I'd only ever read about. So that was really cool. I went on like a whole bunch of mushroom walks and I just took pictures of all the mushrooms. Literally the weirdest person at the park when I was doing that. Whale watching was crazy. I was talking to people who live there and they were like, we never see the whales when we go with our family and stuff when they come visit us. And I saw literally two different types. I saw um, the orca whales and I also saw humpbacks. So awesome because I feel so lucky to have been able to see both of them in the same day. When I mostly went walking around the city and I was just kind of exploring some of the places that tourists don't really go and see. I think my biggest joy about going there, being able to just experience life on your own independently in space so different but so similar to where you were before. It's something that would scare so many people to do and it scared me to do too. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was worried at first going out there because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Completely different, busy, huge city on my own for months. It scared me at first, but then it started to just feel, I don't know, freeing. I mean, the thing too is that like, if you let fear guide everything that you do, you end up just not really doing anything. Everything is scary. Stepping outside of your house is scary. You can get shanked by a crazy person. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> My mom has a, a great quote that she tells me many, many times. I can't remember the exact quote, but it, it goes something along the lines of, everything that you ever want is on the other side of fear. Paraphrasing, because I don't remember the exact quote, but that's about the gist of it. And there's that, you know? If you want to do something, it's going to be scary. Are you putting yourself out there in some way, shape, or form? Sometimes outside of your comfort zone? You're not always going to know what to do. But isn't that the beauty of living? I don't know. I'm getting philosophical over here. This is what happens when I paint. This is why I don't talk to the camera or to anybody when I do this stuff. The gist of my trip was basically that I learned a whole heckin' ton of stuff that had nothing to do with my school. <laughs> Gained a lot of new perspectives that didn't even have anything to do with the reason I was actually going there. I did so much and so little at the same time. It kind of just makes me want to do it again. I have some really cool ideas for some cosplays this year, starting with Yaskir, which I'm actually going to start like probably today after I'm finished painting this. I have plans for his season two costume. I have all of the fabric for it. So that's the first thing that's happening. Start experimenting with a couple of, uh, power systems for cosplays? I don't know. I have this idea. I really want to make it, but it requires some pressurized mechanics that allow things to go up and down. I'm going to see if I can pull it off, but that's probably going to be the next thing that I do. Another idea later this year for a Halloween costume. If you've followed my stuff for a while, you've probably seen my Link costume on Instagram. I have plans for a Zelda. So I might do that this year as well. This is all kind of just me spitballing. We'll see how many of these things I get done. There's the other side. Woo! Is black. Oh, another thing I have planned for this year that's actually I'm really excited about it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm putting it in a video, so now it now it kind of has to happen. The other thing that I did a lot of while I was gone, I didn't have any of this stuff with me, obviously. The only thing that I brought with me was my sketchbook and a bag of paints. And I basically gave myself the ultimatum of you gotta paint so you can get better at it. That has been one of my my adversary for years. I never thought I was good at it. I always hated what I did and what I finished and anything that I made, I thought it was just garbage. I started doing these paintings in this little sketchbook that I have. You know, the Bob Ross craze got us all getting into the happy little trees. Did a couple of oil paintings. I found that I really liked it. Got a little sketchbook and I started acrylic painting again just to see how far I could push my skills. Uh, I did one painting, found myself actually liking what I did. So after that, I started painting a little more and a little more. I painted almost every day while I was there. Actually, that's not true. I painted a little less than a day. I ended up coming home with about 30 paintings in that sketchbook. I posted a few of them on my Instagram, you'll see. And I liked them a lot, and a lot of people liked them a lot. And so I was thinking this year, if I end up doing a little bit more, considering selling some prints of those paintings. And more that I do, because I'm not gonna stop now, it's, it's over. Let me know what you think about prints and if you'd be interested in them, because I'm considering offering them once I figure out how to do that, because I've never done that before either. I think I'm just gonna make stuff and see if people like it. So if you like it, let me know, because that will help me immensely. Anyways, that's pretty much all the news for this 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 bit. I'm pretty well done this first coat. That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty swanky. So I'm gonna just go ahead and and do the rest of this um, quickly, so that you don't have to just 
sit here watching me paint a box for like probably an hour or more. So let's just like speed this up so that we can all get along with the rest of our lives. Sounds good? Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> Once the painting was finished, all that was left was to get rid of the sad old Pampers box and show you the final result. It was at this point that my microphone decided to take an extended vacation to the far corners of the galaxy, rendering my original outro for this video completely useless. So it is at this point where I'll just say thank you for watching this project unfold, and I look forward to seeing all of you in my next nerdy adventure. Now let's have a look at the finished project. Oh, what, what? Why do I keep st- What is this? Hot glue pieces on the floor? I swear. That looked like a crab walk. Just like... <laughs> Stupid.